Okay, this lesson is setting the ground for the next video. Because in the next video, we will start to learn how to do the mocap cleanup. So in this video, let's give you some basic knowledge about the animation tools such as Dopesheet and ALA Editor. Okay, let's open a new file of Blender. Delete this cube. Shift A, create a new sphere. And one, switch to the front view. Move the sphere to this location. Press I, insert the location keyframe. In the timeline interface, you can press Shift and move the wheel to do the zoom in and zoom out. Or you can press Ctrl, hold the middle wheel and drag in different direction. Also can do the timeline zoom in and zoom out. Uh, this is the two basic operation of the timeline window. We move to the frame 10, select the ball GX and move to here, I, key the keyframe. Now we have a simple movement animation from the left to right. This is the basic knowledge of the timeline animation. It's simple and straightforward and easy to understand. Now we move to our second animation tools, graph editor. We drag a new window and switch it to the graph editor. It will show the curve graphic of our movement. The graphic actor actually is the same as our timeline, but it will show the curve of our location change. Since we only have the X location change, so we only have a red line here. Press Shift and hold the middle wheel can move the viewport. Press Ctrl and hold the mouse wheel and drag. You can zoom in and zoom out the viewport. It's the same practice as the timeline. In the graphic editor, you can change the animation curve. As we know, the curve can affect the speed of your animation. Select this point and drag the bar. You can change the shape of your curve. Select this control bar and drag from the left. OK, let's play it. You can see the movement of the ball will become faster at first and then slower. This is how the curve works. OK, let's undo the change. We will go to another very important feature, auto keying. Auto keying is a very important and a very useful feature when you do the animation. Click this dot and let's move the, the ball. You can see when you try to move something or do some change, it will auto key the frame and record the change. For example, let's move this location and move this location. Auto key will record every change you do in the frame. This is a strong action and useful action when you do a complex animation. Let's replay it. Now you will see the ball is moving. For example, I move here, it will auto record. So we have a very simple ball moving animation. Let's turn off the auto key function. And we will uh, make the frame uh, preview to 50. We only preview this part. Next, we'll talk about the other two important animation tools, Dope Sheet and the NLA editor. And we will only talk about the most common functions that we will use in the mocap cleanup session. Let's change the timeline window to Dope Sheet and change the graph editor to the timeline. Okay, oh, sorry, this one we need to change to Dope Sheet. Then we drag a new window and change this window to Nonlinear Animation Editor. Usually we will use the AI Editor and the Dope Sheet together. I know some of you guys are the first time to use the Dope Sheet and AI Editor. Don't be panic. You can just follow me step by step and you will get used to it. First, you should know the Dope Sheet have multiple mode. If you want to edit the action, we have to change the Dope Sheet to the Action Editor mode. Now we have a ball movement action. We can change the action name in the Dope Sheet. Maybe we can name this ball movement as Crazy. Okay. Every action you make are saved in the Dope Sheet. You can click here to see the, all the action you have made. So how to save different actions? You can just click the push down. It can package your action into a block and save it in the NLA editor. Let's change the preview to 100. We can make multiple actions in Dope Sheet and save them in the NLA editor. So how to edit these blocks? You can just tap and these actions will back to the Dope Sheet. Now you can make a change in the Dope Sheet now. You can tap again and back to our NLA editor. Okay, let's make a second animation. In the second action, we don't move the ball, we just scale down and scale up. First, enable the auto key function. And in the first frame, we scale down. And in the third, we scale up. 
scale down, and scale down, and scale up, and scale down. Okay, play it. Now we have the second action, which the ball can become large and small, and we rename it to zoom. At the same time, you go to the AI editor. You can see there is a zoom bar here, and in the right, it have some option for you to editing. For example, the extrapolation tooth. Currently, it's hold. It means it will hold the last frame status. If you change to nothing, okay, you can see the bar became shorter. So how to understand the extrapolation and the blending? It gives you a setting that you can combine multiple actions in the AI editor. Let's push down this action to the AI editor. And let me show you how it works. Okay, click push down, and you will have two blocks in the AI editor. One action is just a scale up and down and no movement. The crazy action only have the movement. Let's select the zoom action. You can see the blending mode currently is replaced. We can play it and see how it works. See, before the frame 15, it only shows the scale up and scale down action. And after 15, it will show the last action of the crazy action. When the blending mode is replaced, the upper layer's action will override the lower layer's action. Now we change the blending from replace to combine. Play it. Okay, you can see it will combine the scale up and down and the movement action. So how to understand the extrapolation? Currently it's nothing for the first layer. We need to hold. Okay, let's move this action to here. Let's see what happened. You can see after this action finished, it will hold the last frame status. If we will change nothing, you can see after the movement finished, it will jump back to the original size. You can see the difference, the last frame, okay, right? So if you change to hold forward, you can see the ball will stay small forward. So this is how the NLA editor works. It gives you the chance to use layers to edit the different actions together. If you change the blend in and blend out, you will see a white line across the action blocks. It will blend the transition part, I mean the two action transition part. Make your action transition soft and smoothly. That's all for today's lesson. In this lesson, we introduce you four common animation tools. The Timeline, Graph Editor, Dope Sheet, NLA Editor, and the Auto Key tools. If you're still not familiar with these tools, don't worry. In the next video, we'll learn how to do mocap cleanup and we'll use these tools we teach in this lesson. I believe after your practice in the mocap cleanup, you will get more adept at using these tools. See you in our next video. Cat tips.